and welcome to Southside Youth Group Cooking with me, Jackson Wells. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I was challenged by Livy to bake a cake. And it looks like this. I have recently watched Nailed It Per Her Request. It is a great show. You should totally check it out. It's where people who don't know how to bake try to recreate really cool things. This smiley face cake might not be the most challenging thing, but as I have never baked in my life, let's see how this goes. First, be sure to put on your apron. Once you've got your apron on, be sure to put on your baking bandana. Mine is blue. Once you've got that done, be sure you have your recipe on hand and let's get into this. After doing some intense research, I found a good recipe online that says that it makes really, really good cake. So that's what I'm gonna be doing to create the base cake for the smiley face cake. Once you find your recipe, you'll find a list of ingredients and things that you'll need to do this. So be sure to gather those. So I think once you've got everything, you start following uh, the recipe. So the first thing that I need to do is cream the butter and sugar together on high speed. Where's the recipe? Oh, here we go. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Upper oven, bake. Oh look, preheating. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Set out two nine inch cake pans or one nine by 13 inch cake pan. So all I've got is this. I'm gonna do two cakes, one at a time. Grease and flour the pans. I don't know if we have any grease. I should've got grease. I wasn't on the ingredients list. Uh, we're not gonna do it because we don't have any pan. In, a, in the bowl of a stand mixer, cream the butter and sugar on high. How much? One and a half sticks. This bowl right here. I don't know what it means. I'm assuming this means I've just gotta mix it up. One. I should have put a timer on the screen. I've already been going for like seven minutes. I can understand how they feel stressed and nailed it. One and three quarter cups of granulated sugar. Here's granulated sugar. One and a half. And I'm supposed to mix this up, I guess, until it becomes nice and one. I feel like I was supposed to microwave it. The microwave's not plugged in, so I will not be using the microwave. So, uh, that is butter that has been creamed, maybe? I don't really know. In a separate bowl, mix the cake, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Why is it so hard to open? Oh, me. One, two, and a half. One, two. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. One quarter. Oh man, it's coming out the edges. Now I'm supposed to mix this. Good enough. Where'd my buttermilk go? Am I missing the buttermilk? Where's the buttermilk? I know I bought it. Here it is. Oh, that's thick. Ugh. And a half. Ugh. Ugh. Two large eggs and one egg white. Check out this technique. Oh, one egg. Two egg. How do they break the egg open without breaking the egg? Oh, I busted the yolk, I busted the yolk. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. How much is a tablespoon? Have I been doing this wrong? I think I've already messed up, guys. Three teaspoons. That's a lot of vanilla. One. Oh, wrong thing. Smells like vanilla. Turn the mixer on low and alternate adding in the flour mixture and the buttermilk until all is combined. I don't have an mixer, so we're just gonna, we're gonna do this old school. Did say don't over mix, just until it's smooth. That looks pretty smooth. Pour the cake batter in the prepared pans and place on the center. That's it? This is the bag, what about the butter? What about the butter? Oh, so this is icing? It does not look like icing. Timer, timer, timer. We're gonna turn the camera off and we'll get back to it. 
So I recreated the icing because I realized that it was wrong and the cake is out of the oven so I'm gonna try and get it out of the pan and uh, maybe start decorating. Hey, not the worst thing I've ever seen. Still a little hot. That's disgusting. What? What did I miss? Why did I take such a big bite? I wanna see what happens when I add some sugar. Whoa, that was so bad. This stick of butter. Another stick of butter, that was absolutely atrocious. Maybe a little bit more sugar. So we'll see how this goes now because that was literally some of the worst good cornbread, but bad cake, I guess. I'm gonna decorate this one while this one's in the oven. Gonna clean up while that's in the oven, decorate this cake, and then we'll be done. I need to let it cool some more, I think. So, how do you think I did? I definitely like this one more, though it doesn't taste very great. I've tasted a little bit of both of them. They both taste absolutely horrible. Uh, adding the butter and sugar after I had already made the cake mix was a terrible idea. This took forever to bake and then it just fell apart. It's so bad. And then I also didn't make enough icing. So if you ever do this, be sure to find a better recipe than I did and you'll be good to go. Thanks for joining and we'll see you soon.